Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be unboxing month two of the Crochet Surprise Box. So, recap last month real quick. We got four balls of Lion Brand Basic Stitch, an Infinity Scarf Pattern, and a one ounce package of tea. The total value was $26.98. The cost was $29.95. Um, after shipping and stuff, it was $39.95. We were at an 11% overage. So my scarf actually has been getting used. And unfortunately, I have misplaced it in the house. I did a whole cleaning thing where I was cleaning up stuff. It did get finished. I love it. It's a beautiful pattern. I will definitely be remaking that pattern. Um, the only downside I had for last month's box was the value. Um, the value just wasn't, I mean, I didn't break even on it. I overpaid for everything in that box. So even after I cost adjusted for the patterns price on Etsy, because you can buy that pattern specifically by itself from the designer, uh, even after cost adjusting for that. And I think actually the 362 I still have written down here is, uh, the unadjusted price. That's the, uh, average. I think the pattern was like $5. I will leave it. Well, it's linked down below. Uh, the, the box number ones. Oh, I guess I can leave the link for box number one down below. It's linked in there. I am totally brain fried at this point. I'm drinking the tea from last month. Um, I told you guys it smelled and I thought it was going to be a lot like the Stash Christmas in Paris flavor. It is, but this is a black tea, not an herbal tea. So this is a caffeinated tea. It is delicious. I mean, I never thought I'd really like a cocoa tea. This is really good. I really like the Stash tea too. So I did taste test the tea. Now I have not taste tested this month's tea, obviously. I just got this box in late yesterday. So I've not had a chance to do anything but run my numbers. But this month's tea is a jasmine peony tea. This is a green tea, so it is also caffeinated. Hand plucked green tea infused with night blooming jasmine flowers. Now I am a huge fan of flowers. I like roses. I like eating um, lilac. Uh, I have had jasmine before. Really enjoy jasmine. So this is one of those. It's probably not everybody's taste, but I really like it. Looking forward to that. And I have a feeling that's going to be one that's going to be really good iced and lightly sweetened. Just because green tea really is in general really good iced and lightly sweetened. Uh, this month's yarn is Lion Brand Heartland and Grand Canyon. And that is a color I will get a lot of use out of. I do like that color quite a bit. It's, um, this is probably more true to how you see it in person. But as with other Heartlands, uh, it's got a tonal effect. I think this is, yeah, this is Isle Royale. So you can see how there's a purple and a wine in this one. The Grand Canyon is a tan and a almost caramel shade, but it's showing up more yellow on camera than it really is in person. Um, so I do like this color quite a bit. We got four balls of this. This is one of those yarns where you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, it is a little bit slower to work, especially with crochet. Uh, but I really like this yarn. So I spent a lot of time talking about it the other day. Let's put this back before I forget what I did with it. Um, so yeah, like I, I, and coming into spring where you're going to be wearing lighter colors anyway, I think this is a great compliment. It also would work really well for fall. Um, 
However, as much as I'm okay with the yarn, can I just tell you how in love with the pattern I am? So the pattern is a gorgeous gathered wrap. This is by Sonia at Not Yourself Out, K-N-O-T. And I have actually had my eye on this pattern for a while. I love the wraps with that style. And this is one of the ones I had looked at before. So, oh, it sounds like my husband just got home. I am super excited <laughs> about this because I have a feeling, even though I will make this out of this color, I have a lot of worse weight yarn. So I have a feeling we will be seeing this pattern again as well. As far as the patterns we're getting in these, I have to say this is my favorite box. Um, I have really loved both patterns. Last month, it didn't seem that exciting until I actually made it and was in the process of making it. And let me just tell you, that pattern went together really well. The finished piece is really nice and it's very wearable. Um, this pattern, like, like I said, I've had my eye on that for a while now and, um, that style where you've got the slit or something in there. I just, I really like that style. So I'm pretty excited. Like that's two months in a row where the pattern is very, very exciting. The yarn's fine. I like the yarn. I of course love purple yarn. And this is a really nice brown tone for me. Uh, like I said, it's not nearly as yellow as it looks on camera. It's not turning. It's from here. It's not so yellowy, but up close, it's a yellow caramel color, which is really odd. Um, but I'm really, really happy with it. So let's get into the math. If I really like the box, <laughs> let's get into the math. Um, the shawl pattern is $6 on Etsy. I did double check the price. The tea is $3.70. Once again, Jasmine Pearl Tea Company seems to have some exceptionally reasonable prices on their tea. So even if you're not looking to get this box as a subscription, I am very glad to know this company exists because the first tea was amazing. And, you know, I, they actually sell these in two ounce packages on their website. But you know, seven bucks for a two ounce package of tea is actually a really good deal for a lot of these loose leaf teas. So I, I'm actually quite happy with that. We've got four balls of Heartland. Oh, the tea value is three seventy for the one ounce package. Heartland yarn, four balls. We've got twenty five ninety six at six dollars and forty nine cent online from winebrand.com. Um. The value of this box is $35.66. The cost of the box is $29.95 plus it was $39.90 after shipping. So before tax and shipping, this one is a 16% saved, which takes us up to 4% saved overall. Um, last month we were at 11% overage. This month we saved 16%. So um, I'm still iffy on the the overall value on this box, but I do have to say like, and maybe it's just the, the fatigue of coming off the last box I did and not being overly happy with that one. Um, I, I, that one being so many highs and lows, highs and lows. But to me, the feel of this box, even though there's nothing extra, there's, it, it's literally a tea, a pattern and some yarn. Um, I like the box better. Uh, I would definitely feel better if this box were, say, $20 a month, not $29 a month. Uh, that's my biggest issue with it, is the cost versus value question. Um, now that we are in the, the positive, we are seeing a little bit of the off-retail savings here. Um... It's okay as far as the price goes. It's not great. Um, 
But the way I feel about the box and how excited I am when I see the pattern and the yarn combination and then, you know, nice tea to go along with it. It just kind of fits the, especially like today, it's a thunder, it's been thunderstorming all afternoon. Uh, you know, nice cozy cup of tea, a nice project to get into. Like it's a nice uh, event in a box, uh, you know, like hygge moment or something. Uh, but I do have a problem with that, that because this is a yarn I can regularly get on sale or with a coupon, it does make it a little bit harder for me to be like, yay, I love this box. Though I do love the aesthetic and I do love the combination of the patterns I've gotten so far. Uh, that value thing is a problem for me. So this is one of those where I would say it's a really nice gift, but if you're buying it for yourself, I'm on the fence. Uh, that's one of those you put your money where you want your money to go uh, kind of thing, I guess. But it's uh, not as good as it could be. Just really cool. It's just really funny listening to them clump around. Um, but yeah, like, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. Uh, getting back on track and being, you know, not losing money on this month was nice. And not now we're not losing money overall, but we did, I mean, coming back from an 11% overage, I mean, that's a huge gap to close. And I've said before, you know, when you're taking the risk with your money on a subscription box, um, where you have the chance to not like what you get, not be able to use what you get, uh, in, in any combination, whether it be you can't use the yarn, you don't like the pattern, you don't like the combination. If you're going to have to break out from using this as a kit and particularly, um, and you're taking the risk not knowing what it is because it is a mystery, we should expect to get 20% off um, because you're, you're the one taking the risk uh, as the consumer. So I, I, I do wish that were a better back and forth, but you know, this month was 16% saved, which isn't horrible. It's not, once again, it's not great, but it's not horrible either. Um, I would like to see that number closer to 20%, not um, but that has only left us for the first two months at 4% saved, which really isn't that much. I mean, that's under a Michael's sale. That's under a, you know, introduction Joanne sale. That's under Lion Brand sale price. I mean, they, they start their sales at 10% off. So we're still, I mean, both of these have been Lion Brand to yarns. So I, I really don't mind saying that straight up. Lion Brand puts their stuff on sale for 10% minimum normally um they do run other sales and deals and things like the the five for ten or the three for nine deals but their minimum sale is around ten percent um sometimes fifteen percent they'll do a coupon for fifteen percent uh so to be under what the manufacturer does the yarn for as far as percent saved on this box is a little disappointing for me uh but I do like the project and I have liked the projects for both months so far. Um, when you add in the cost of shipping and tax, you know, that is another $10 a month that I'm paying. So that is a little, if you were ordering yourself, you know, you could easily get, you know, a lot more for that 10 bucks. Uh, actually... It's not marked on here. So I sent off a box this size the other day. It's been a little while now. Um, to New York State. And I think I paid $12 shipping for a box this size that was about two pounds. Which is what this is. Um, unfortunately, shipping just costs that much. Uh, so yeah, it, mm, mm, mm. but 
project excitement. <laughs> I mean, I do try really hard to bring out as many positives as I can, and I am project excited. I am just price disappointed, and it's a. Uh, It is what it is, I guess. Uh, and this did come super late. Uh, this is January's box, and I just got it in February. Today's the 11th, so I got it yesterday, which would be the 10th. Um, right? 11th, 12th, 13th. Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, the 11th. Um, Sunday's Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, this was very, very late. I, I, I can't, you know, the shipping thing, get them getting the yarn was what drove it to be late once they got it and said that they had gotten the yarn for the box. The delivery of this was actually fairly quick. Let's see. It was postmarked on the 3rd. Today's the 11th. Uh, it took... I don't think I got the notice that it had shipped and actually left the first facility until at least two days after that. Um, so yeah, I mean it all in all, like once they got the yarn, it really didn't take that long to get here, but we're already halfway through the month of February. We only have that one more box left to go for this review series. So it, it, it is kind of disappointing that this box did come so late, but it is what it is. Like I can't, I can't fault them for that. Like, that's not on them. Um, and this is, once again, you know, it's a small company. This isn't a huge, a huge company that we're dealing with. These are individuals. These are people. <laughs> Real people. Individual people. So, yeah, um, I I'm going to let you guys make the call on how to feel about this month. But, like I said, monetary value is a little questionable, but... I do really like the project and that's more than I can say for some of the, <laughs> some of the things I've gotten of late. I like the product and I like the project. And this is something where I can go out and buy that exact same yarn over and over again. This was a discontinued color that I had to happen to have on hand, but this will be my, the last one I used was Denali, which is beautiful pink. I do like this yarn a lot. It, for this kind of project where you're going to have the weight of that shawl in that little pocket area there, this is actually the perfect yarn to do with that. Um, so the pairing, uh, from a technical aspect, the pairing is really nice on this. Um, it was a good choice for this because that yarn is a little bit sturdier. It's not hard or stiff or anything. It's very soft actually to wear and it holds up very well. But you need something that can really hold the weight because when that's sitting in that slot, the, the fabric is the only thing holding it up. So, I mean, it is, it is a really good pairing for the pattern to yarn. I like the color. It's a nice neutral color for something like this. You do tend to have a lot more neutrals that come out. Um, not everybody can wear, you know, like hot pink or is willing to wear hot pink because you do kind of stand out when you wear hot pink. Um, so there are a lot of positives that I can list off with this kit so far. Uh, last month, I really enjoyed the project. Um, hopefully, I'll find it before we unbox month three, or at least our final review. Uh, but <laughs> the fact I've been wearing it enough that I lost it in my bedroom should tell you I really did like that project, and I like how it turned out quite a bit. Um, and if I can't find it, I'll just remake one. I can always do that. Uh, I really liked the pattern quite a bit, and that was a good, once again, combination of a nice soft yarn with a nice textured stitch. It was a good yarn to show off the bobbles in that, that pattern. It has really good stitch definition. I did enjoy working with it. So, like, I, I you know what? I'm just babbling at this point. I'm utterly distracted because my husband's home after two days, but... Uh, yeah, that's, that's where I'm coming down on this. I, I have extreme happy feelings about this and I have one con, which after the last couple months, <laughs> I'll take the one con. Um, so yeah, like I, I really do want to be fair and be fair to you guys as well. Not just this 
box and how I feel about this box. Um, I did forget the disclaimer up front. In no way, shape, or form is this sponsored content. I did not receive this box for free. I 100% paid for this. These people have no clue who I am. Uh, other than the fact I am a subscriber and I'm in the Facebook group. Um, because I did want to see, you know, kind of like what was going on. Um, I did come into this as blind as I possibly could. Uh, I prefer to come in as blind as I can to a subscription box and experience it just like anybody else would getting a surprise box. Uh, so not sponsored, not gifted this in any way, shape or form. This is why I'm able to give you guys 100% honest responses and reactions to these subscription boxes. If I hate it, I'm free to tell you that. If I love it, I'm free to tell you that. I'm also free to tell you I love it, but there are cons. Uh, and that's how I like to do my review series. So, month two, I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. Um, is it just where I'm so fatigued from the last box I reviewed that this one seems that much better? Is it this one is that much better? It's just overpriced. Because that's kind of how I'm feeling is the box is really good. It just seems to be a little overpriced. Um, but let me guys know what you think. I mean, I really enjoy seeing what you guys think. Um, if subscription boxes aren't your thing, that's fine. Uh, I actually enjoy getting subscription boxes for the most part. Um, just some of them aren't as good as others. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go get started on this. Uh, take care, you guys. I love you, and I will see y'all real soon.